I'm Kristen Maitland, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering at Texas A&M University. Currently in my research lab, we are developing a new technology to improve early detection of oral cancer. Our approach is to combine two optical technologies to provide information to the clinician, uh, both on the macroscopic and the microscopic level, to improve uh, the clinician's ability to provide an accurate diagnosis. When a dentist or a clinician uh, examines a patient's mouth, they're basically using their eyes uh, to sense or to, to detect lesions within the mouth. The challenge with this is that patients frequently come in with um, lesions that surround the entire oral cavity or a large portion of the oral cavity, and these can be heterogeneous where there might be precancer that could be hidden within a bed of uh, benign tissue. So what the doctor does is they look at this tissue and they try to decide what is the most severe case of um, abnormal tissue. They cut out that tissue uh, using a biopsy tool and they provide that tissue to, to a pathologist. The pathologist slices the tissue and they look at it on a micro, on a, in a microscope. First they look at it in a macroscopic scale where they're looking for overall tissue features. Um, and they're looking for changes in the structure um, and in the bio com biochemical composition. Then they zoom in using the microscope with a higher magnification objective lens, and they're looking at the cellular features to look for changes that happen with precancer that can indicate precancer. The challenge is this small piece of tissue is meant to represent the worst uh, state of disease within this, the whole oral cavity. Um, so what our uh, main idea is, is that we want to provide more information to the clinician to help them select the most severe site uh, within the oral cavity. To do this, we are using two uh, new optical technologies. Uh, one is called fluorescence lifetime imaging, which will um, provide some of the biochemical information um, that provides um, metabolic information about the tissue um, on the macroscopic scale. And then we use um, a, a technology called reflectance confocal microscopy um, that provides high resolution imaging of cellular structure. So we're looking for uh, changes to the nuclei of the cells um, where we're trying to identify if they're getting larger or more crowded, which is indicative of precancer development. So overall, our imaging system um, is providing new information to the clinician. We're hoping that this can provide a more accurate and rapid diagnosis by providing real-time information to the doctor. Um, and it may be applied to um, other applications such as monitoring treatment to provide real-time feedback to, to see whether um, a therapeutic agent is providing the desired effect on the cancer.